It's your boy Jay. What's up? Peace. What to choose? Hey everyone, today we're going to discuss a hot topic in data science and analytics education. Should you pursue a master's in business analytics or a master's in data science? These are two of the most popular degrees for aspiring data scientists and data analysts. And today we want to talk about the benefits and trade-offs of each and what's the right degree for you if you're looking to propel your data science career or you're just already interested in going to one of these graduate programs. All right, let's dive right in. Both of these degrees can rocket launch your data science career if you're interested in a graduate program already. And let's talk about the nuances between the programs and what you need to know before making the big decision. All right, first up, what are the differences between these different programs? So a master's in business analytics, also known as an MSBA or an MSA for just masters of analytics is really about bridging the gap between business and data science because business analytics regular analytics data analytics they all mean the same thing which is essentially using data to drive insights so this is what the graduate program is teaching you a master's in data science usually is actually offered by the computer science department or more of a technical department at a university. These programs are more technical in nature. So they're more about learning the core concepts of data science. Now, there's obviously gonna be a lot of overlap in the curriculum. Typically, the Masters of Data Science program was served to basically churn out data scientists and anyone who's interested in that machine learning data science field. So you'll be learning a lot more about programming, the math behind it, the core concepts, stuff like that. There will still be a lot of business application and parts of it, but definitely not as much as in the business analytics program. One thing to note is that the business analytics programs are sometimes rolled up into the actual graduate school MBA program. So for example, the University of Minnesota has their MSBA with a joint degree with their MBA program, whereas some of the programs like UCLA are actually separate entirely and they just have their own MSBA program that's 13 months long. So which program is better? And obviously that's a loaded question because it completely depends on your goals and your type of work that you want to do. In my opinion, both degrees are great, but the MSBA program does give you a little bit more career flexibility afterwards. So if you're not entirely sure that you want to be maybe a hardcore data scientist or a machine learning engineer, then I would opt for more of the business analytics programs. But the thing to note is that all of these programs are different. And so there could be a lot of data science programs with business applications, but the MSBA programs or the analytics programs probably have more kind of business facing stuff. So if you're looking to go into more of a product manager route down the line or potentially be in management, then I could see that business analytics might be the better choice there with more career flexibility. And because it's also rolled up into a lot of the MBA program, a lot of the time it's going to be giving you a lot more alumni and career networking kind of events. So potentially they might also focus a little bit more on placement rates as well after you actually go through the program. That being said, if you're more interested in the scientific and technical side of it, then the MS data science program might be a better fit there. You're gonna be going for more technical roles such as maybe a data engineering role, data science role, research scientist role, and less of the business facing or finance facing ones. The other thing to keep in mind is also the program durations in each. I know some of these programs in general could be one year or two years long, and it's gonna cost more money obviously if it's two years and be more of an opportunity cost if you're thinking about taking off time from work to basically do these master's programs as well. Now, one huge question that I get is from international students. Which program is good for you as an international student? If I were to to place myself as an international student, I would primarily care about what can I get out of the program that will let me a job to stay in the United States or maybe take that knowledge back to my home country. Master's programs give them a chance to basically learn in the US and apply for jobs in the US to then be able to stay in the US. Placement rate should be a huge concern if you are a master's student. I would immediately talk to the career admissions office to understand what they do for international students in terms of placement rate. If they even have that data for placement rate for international students segmented out would also be really interesting. And lastly, of course, the duration of the program probably matters a lot as well for visa concerns and understanding the cost and the return on investment for doing one of these master's programs. Now, the other differentiator that I wanna put out there is online versus in-person programs. And I get this question a lot. 
in terms of doing online programs. And personally for me, I think that online programs are worth it if you're trying to learn the content of data science in a structured manner, but you aren't really worried about potential placement. So maybe this is something that gets paid by your company so that you can upskill, or maybe you also need that flexibility in terms of remote work. Now, there are some great online programs out there, in my opinion, like the Georgia Tech program, which is a master's of analytics online that is extremely cost efficient. There are some worse programs out there that are basically run by an online course conglomerate called 2U that basically put the brand of the university on top of this online course conglomeration and don't really care about placement rates. And I've talked to a few of them. I don't want to name drop them out here, but you can generally tell if they are run by 2U because they do a lot of online and paid advertise and they really really want you to join because they make money off of you as a student with high margin on this online business i think one of the main benefits though of in-person programs really is the fact that you get better chance of placement and investment potentially on your degree in terms of financial perspective for example university of san francisco which as a caveat is partnered with interview query does focus a lot on placement and they try to basically place every one of their students in an internship program during their program's duration. Another program like UCLA, which is also partnered with Interview Query as a caveat, emphasizes experiential learning through capstones and projects and different industry events as well. I think all of these give you a competitive edge, especially if you can get that industry experience along with your learning. And of course, UCLA's program is more business analytics and USF's is also data science. And so both of these programs, I think, are great. There's a ton of other great Great programs out there as well but it's all about understanding the programs in depth on your own side so ultimately hopefully i addressed all the kinds of different questions that you had on the different kinds of nuances between the business analytics and analytics programs and the data science program let me know what you think in the comments below are you guys in a current graduate program what are your guys experience like are you really enjoying it are you maybe not enjoying some parts because my company interview query is integrating with more universities and we'd love to hear from you guys so please let us know and i'll talk to you guys soon bye